Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and we're at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas, and I'm really happy to be talking with Wendy McElroy, a longtime libertarian writer, thinker, activist, most uh, recently the author of The Art of Being Free, Politics versus the Every Man and Every Woman. Wendy, thanks for talking to us. Very much happy to be here. So uh, the art of being free, let's talk about it. One of the things I find most fascinating is you've got a whole, uh, uh, there's a Henry David Thoreau line running through this, yes. which is the idea of like, let's not waste our time on politics. What's going on with that? This is my reaction to 9-11, this book. Uh, when 9-11 happened, nothing shocked me as much. Uh, I saw a whole America basically giving up on freedom. I saw a police state arise so fast that it stunned me. As a libertarian, I had spent about three decades of my life fighting for freedom, and all of a sudden it seemed to collapse at one moment. And I thought, have I wasted my life? And one of the things I asked myself was the same thing Henry David Thoreau asked himself when the state came knocking on his door to pay the poll tax. What is my relation to the state? And just, I mean, for uh, background, he did not pay a war tax that was going to uh, fund the Mexican War, is that right? American War. He, he basically thought it was a cooperation with evil, that if he, he paid it, it would support it. What is my relationship to the state? I stopped being, I had two attitudes toward toward the state. One was uh, to rail against it, to, to do, I've, I've been told that there is an Italian saying that if translated in English is, it's raining again, pig of a government, which is uh, to, to basically just rail against the state. The other one, which Henry David Thoreau expressed, is to, when he was released from jail and went out on, on his own, on a hill, he basically looked around and saw the beauty of the world and said, here, inside myself, there is no state. But what, uh, I, you know, I think that's great. And I think Thoreau, uh, it's interesting. I feel like he's, he's, his purchase on the American psyche has been fading, and that's a real problem, uh, because he refused to live in the world that other people tried to build for him or the prisons that it built for him. But what do you say with something, you know, if there is a growing uh, uh, abuse of civil liberties and police power, what is the role of political activism to combat that? I mean, do we get into a place where we're going to ignore the state even as they're putting us away. I don't say ignore the state. I am going to cry out against the state. I, I rail against it constantly. I, I, I speak out, I protest, and I think that's common decency. The state is knocking on my door, it's knocking on your door, there is a police state. However, I think in terms, I want to live freedom. I just don't want to rail against it. And I'm starting to very creatively pursue things like alternative currencies, I'm trying to, to uh, go into barter, I'm trying to go into agorism, every way I can to avoid the state. Because most of all, Thoreau said we should get on with the business of living. I do not want the state to be so important in my life that I forget to live. Well, that's a, uh, that's a great message. Uh, and you're a part of uh, laissez-faire books now, too, which is reinvigorated. Talk a little bit about that, and where's the, where's the best place for people to buy your book? The best place is laissez-faire books, www.lfb.org. Uh, go there. Uh, what laissez-faire books is about is not merely book selling. It's about a community. We want to, to make living freedom practical. We want a community to be built in forums, in the, in the club, in talking to me. I'm online all there all the time. So is Jeff Tucker. We want to be free. The state is there. It's going to be a police state. It's going to come down hard on all of us. We need community. Well, Wendy, I thank you, and uh, thank you for the most recent book, as well as all the great historical work you've done in terms of uh, reminding us of a great libertarian heritage that too often is overlooked. Thanks to, I was, I was going to say thanks to state school, but also parochial schools, at least as far as I know. So, Wendy McElroy, thank you very much. The new book is The Art of Being Free. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.